Hi Cancer, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly Angel Tarot card reading for the week of January the 9th to January the 16th, 2017. Happy New Year my friend, welcome to this brand new year of 2017. I want to truly thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking and sharing these videos that I put out on YouTube every week with your family members and friends. As you know, this is strictly a general reading. And every single card for every single day of the week does not apply to every single person in the universe. But if you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, I can give that to you in a private reading. So I welcome and invite you to go to my website. And that is www.brendatero, spelled T-A-R-O, dot info. See you soon, Cancer. You have four major cards in your reading today. And the very first one is Awakening for Monday. And Awakening is all about looking at things from a different perspective. And if things have not been going the way they should for you, then you're going to step back and take a different approach, okay? There may be a temporary standstill when you're trying to figure these things out this week. But it's important to be yourself when you do this and make sure when you step forward you are yourself and you stand your ground when you do it. So the power lies within you to be yourself when you do this. Tuesday, major card, balance. Well, that's pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? It's all about the need to balance and do things in moderation. So the words that I see is moderation, cooperation, and compromise. So anything that you're going to do right now, think of those three words before you jump into the quicksand with both feet and try to swim yourself out of a situation. Wait for the perfect timing. <clears throat> I love this card. This has come up in the last reading. Unity, another major card. And unity is all about showing me that some of you want to work in groups that enrich you now. And you're going to expand because it's time for you to expand your circle of friends and you're going to join a group, some of you. Perhaps you're going to roll in a course and it may be a spiritual organization, but you're going to be able to get the support of people, like-minded people like you, with the same integrity and the same strong morals that you do. When you do this, this is going to lift any, uh, any blocks that you've, you've been having that's been blocking you from manifesting your own goals. So this is all about seeking out mentors and like-minded friends, looking at things in a traditional viewpoints or methods, and it's definitely going to be like a spiritual enlightenment for you. Thursday. Ten of Water, our relationship card, can be intimate or not. But this is telling me that it has to do with your family, the relationship there. And you have a contented and rewarding family, some of you. And your emotional and material needs seem to be okay right now, right on tap, and, and, and seem to be uh, met. It, those of you that have been questioning and wondering about um, your partner, please know that you are in a trustworthy relationship. Fire card, seven, or pardon me, earth card, seven of earth, material card. How we bring that into our lives, the material part of our lives, with our jobs and our careers and the currency. And it also can have to do with the ecosystem and mother, mother earth and our closest circle, which is our families. But they're telling me that you may have planted uh, some seeds at work. You may have put out a proposition or um, something at work and you're waiting to hear from them waiting to hear how they've received that and how they're going to uh, approach you after they've read it uh, and looked into it. Please know that there, this is a temporary pause and a standstill. The seed's small. It's, you know, that's why they call this. It's a seed well planted. So what you've put out there is your place of work. Please know that it has been accepted and you will hear from them um, and stop worrying about it. They were well planted. Night of Earth for Saturday. So another Earth card. So it's time to buckle down and get things done. And they show me that you need to honor your commitments. Okay? But you're going to be able to get all this work done now that Christmas is over and it's piled up. You're going to be able to get it done because this is the card that shows me your guardian angel with their hand on your backside saying, we can get her done together. High Priestess for the last day of the week on Sunday. And the High Priestess is all about keeping things kind of to yourself. Keep your thoughts in. Listen to your own intuition and have patience. 
consider carefully what it is you want before you act upon it, okay? So basically, um, you need to be patient. Everything you need to know uh, will be revealed to you in the right time, okay? At the end of this reading, I did incorporate that one Oracle Ascended Masters card, and they gave you this, trust. So it's trust in yourself. Again, the High Priestess, your own intuition, trust yourself and where you are right now on your path. But also, if you've been questioning anything, please know that uh, the Ten of Water said you can trust your partner. Okay, so trust that you are in a trustworthy relationship as well. I wish you a great remainder to today, Cancer, and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to. Again, I leave you with another quote, my friend, and that quote is, don't make promises when you're happy. Don't reply when you're angry. And don't make decisions when you're unhappy and sad. See you again next week, my friend. And know that I continue to stand in that circle of light for you, Cancer.